So we've driven a little over 100 miles. I had to make a little stop. And I wanted to show you where we just drove through. Um, it's the famous grapevine, the main artery from northern to southern California, and we just drove over it. And it's pretty barren this time of year, but still so beautiful. And I'm going to turn around and go to the northern direction so you can see the mountains in the distance. Hopefully they come up good on the camera. The sun's real bright. I just love this drive. I'll share some more with you along the way. We had to make a gasoline stop. Still have about another hour and a half just to get to where we're having dinner. Wanted to show you some of the signs. We've been seeing a lot of these on the way. Obviously, we're having a severe drought in California. There's a lot of controversy between who gets water and who gets to use it, how much they pay for it, etc., etc. I'm not going to wage my opinion on that right now, but I wanted to share you some of the stuff we've been seeing. That's what this is a travel log. Beyond here, right in the middle, I'm going to see. There's an actual green orchard. I don't know what they're growing over there. It's probably oranges. And then we have a dry one over here. And I'm not quite sure what this used to grow. It is fascinating, the politics of water. But we are driving through California's heartland. Well, we stopped for dinner in Dublin, California. It's a place that we stay probably about once a year now because we like to come up here and go shopping at the used bookstores in the new town. We brought Dominic here for spring break. We're at Black Angus and I have a coupon for one free dinner. And I think I'm going for this. Uh, Sesame Teriyaki Top Store language is my favorite. And I'm really trying to figure out what sides I want. I'm very torn because now they have some new stuff here. Isaac's excited because he loves homestyle mashed potatoes. And they finally have them here because they used to have like a whipped potato before. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I think we're going to go for the broccoli and the western round wild rice. It's hard to say quickly to get. So I have to share this unique way that Isaac eats bread. Or what he does is he takes the, <laughs> the parts with the oats on it and gives me that part, you know, it's the top, and then the soft middle. <laughs> I guess it's a good system because I like the crunchy outside. He doesn't like it. But the one thing we do argue over is the amount of butter each one of us gets. But I think tonight I'm going to win because it's my birthday today. Here's the final product. I'm really excited to dig in. Of course, I have to share it with you. Teriyaki sauce is so delicious. Yum. And I show Isaac's plate, but he's already digging in, and I know I'll get yelled at if I do. He's nodding his head, yes. Take a look at that total. $28.96. For two steak dinners, I'm not complaining. And this Black Angus in Dublin was fantastic. I'm going to give you a quick room tour of our home for the next couple days. Um, I normally do not like staying in places that have an outside corridor, but this was a budget trip because it was something we decided on last minute. So this was the 
best hotel at the best price. Anyway, here is a desk with the office chair. There's a also a table and two chairs. And I'm trying to avoid showing her because I was threatened. <laughs> He's tired. Two beds. They look pretty comfy. It's the best western and best westerns. Beds are usually pretty comfortable. Uh, TV, chest of drawers. And Isaac said this is a remote. It's called a clean remote. So what does it say here? We have added the clean remote to each of our rooms. The clean remote has been designed to specifically make it easy to clean and disinfect. This is just another of our many efforts to ensure a more comfortable stay for you and your family. Interesting. It's the first time we've come across that. There's another table, mirror, and we're important mini fridge because we drink water like it's going out of style and we like cold water. Microwave, glasses, nice uh, vanity area. Very nice. With the, looks like a blow dryer. Coffee maker, which we don't use. No closet. Well, no closet with doors, but that's fine. Because we pretty much stay out of our cases anyway. And your standard bathroom. But I always like, because the Best Westerns usually have the shower with the round. Because I really despise having a shower and curtain touch me when I'm in my shower. And I think that's it. I think this will be my bed here. Is that right, Isaac? The one closest to the restroom? <laughs> well, I'm going to call it a night. It's been a very long day. We got stuck in some traffic at the end of the night. Um, there was a bad accident. Oh seems like two or three hours ago but it was probably an extra hour to our trip but thankfully we stopped and ate first so that was good um i had the most wonderful birthday uh driving through my beloved state listening to music that i adore hanging out with my very cool nephew who's a great travel partner because i trained him well since he was a little kid and a fantastic fantastic dinner uh, best steak I've had in ages. And it seems like this is going to be a pretty decent hotel for us to kick back in and relax. And I got lots of birthday wishes all over social media, texting and phone calls. And I feel very, very special today. And I really appreciate you joining me in my little celebration today. And hopefully you'll join us tomorrow for Isaac's birthday. And remember to always live greatly and live generously. Bye now.